combining music, movement, and storytelling. This is Marimba Works for Kids, a program to delight, enchant, and teach. This specific program was designed for African children in Africa. Up, down. Hampumi Madingwane is a teacher from the NGO Education Africa. She says this program is designed to awaken the innate musicality of children as young as four years old. Mainly we use marimbas and jambas, which is so easy for the kids to adapt to and it's so easy for them to start at an early age. Excuse me, could you please teach me how to jump? The class is centered on a set of original stories about South Africa's wild animals. The lesson runs for 30 minutes and each of the children get a different costume of a different animal. And this gives them identity of who they're going to be representing and a little bit about that animal and how they're going to use that animal in music. Sipo and Amy love to go into the game reserve with Sipo's granddad who was a story is about the little brown monkey which teaches the kids to walk like elephants and jump like springs. The marimba is incorporated into the story to illustrate simple musical concepts such as rhythm and tempo, deep slow notes for the elephants and high-pitched notes for the spring box. We're going to play a beta game, come, let's go up. Specially choreographed exercises using marimba beaters help to familiarize the kids Down. with the instrument and improve coordination. Down. These marimbas are customized for small children. They are color coded and you would have noticed that sometimes we take out some of the keys that it makes it a lot easier for them to learn and to play with. Bunny ears. 25 schools in townships across South Africa are participating in the Marimba Works program. Engaging with the kids and playing on the marimbas and being creative is just something that is wonderful for me and for the kids also. Five, six, seven, go. Seeing these little ones developing a uniquely African musical identity at such a tender age is what Madingwane says she finds most fulfilling. I think um, it is best for these kids to start playing marimbas and jambas as it's an African instrument which is also teaches them their cultures and where they're coming from. And perhaps in years to come, some of these budding young musicians will take part in the International Marimba and Steel Pan Festival. Just two hours drive north of Johannesburg at the foothills of the Waterberg Mountains Specialist artisan Oni Simbunda is building a set of Zimbabwean marimbas for the upcoming festival. He was encouraged to move to South Africa by his brother Michael, who's a music teacher. The Zimbabwe marimba was uh, designed at the Kwanongoma College of Music in Bulawayo. During the 1960s, it was decided that we needed an instrument that could be rolled out into the township schools so that the children will be taught uh, music education. The college looked at two traditional African instruments, the Salimba from Zambia and the Chopi marimba from Mozambique. So these two instruments were put together and out of that, this is where the Kwanunguma marimba originated. The material used to make the marimba keys is known as the wood that sings. It's made from mukwa which is a hardwood that is found mainly in Mozambique and Zimbabwe. Mukwa is, is very resonant, that is why it was selected to make the keys and, of, and because it was also easily accessible in Zimbabwe. Once the key has been pared down to the correct length and width, only tunes it by ear. If the pitch is too high, he shaves off layers of wood to lower it. To give the marimba a rustic African look, Oni burns the wood with a blowtorch and then fine-tunes the key with a chromatic tuner. Traditionally, resonators for the bass and baritone marimbas 
were made from calabash gourds. But these proved to be fragile and hard to get in the right sizes. So today, fiberglass is used instead. The resonator is actually also tuned. The bigger the resonator is, the lower the pitch. The smaller it is, uh, the higher the pitch. And also the opening of the resonator also determines the pitch. Once the resonators are attached to the frame, the instrument is tested to make sure it's correctly tuned. Against the backdrop of Letlapa Pula Game Park, the place where water seeps from the rocks, Oni's band gathers at sunset. They are joined by dancers from surrounding farms. The song that has just been performed is called Chamtengure. It's a traditional Shona piece that originates from Zimbabwe. And as the distinct buzzing sound of Zimbabwean marimbas echo across the expansive African landscape, Oni says he feels proud that he has played a role in sharing the rich traditions of his country with his southern neighbours.